I was like freaking out because like we had to jump, getting crushed by these waves. And 30 seconds before we saw this shark. Everyone initially read all for one girl character, which was the character of Perry. So, so then they broke it down. They're like, okay, we want you to read for the character of Beck. And then they're like, oh, actually, we'll get you to read for the character of Fly. But it was really funny. It was sort of towards the end because I ended up um, going to Bali thinking, oh, like, you know, I've done the third audition, like, who knows? And they're like, oh, yep, like, we want you to come back for a callback tomorrow. And I'm like, I'm in Bali. And they're like, well, you need to come back. I'm like, can't they just move it? Like thinking, you know, they'll just move it. Anyway, they waited for me to come back, which is really lovely because that would probably not happen anymore. And um, yeah, and then I like went back as uh, for fly. And then I think I did like another round and then eventually, um, yeah, got the character of fly. It was nerve wracking um, and, but also like exciting, but I think it was quite overwhelming because I was like, oh my God, I've got to learn all these lines. You'll finish really late and then you'd have to learn for the next day and I was always like an over preparer so like it had to be like perfect yeah after the first day I was just yeah over the moon I was like oh my god this is the best thing ever like can't believe I get to do this for six months yeah no not a surfer I remember like my first training day we went to like manly surf school for a week and I like fell off the board and it like banged my head and I ended up with like a massive lump I was yeah definitely not a surfer but then I got really into it as we were filming but we had doubles eh? so even if we could surf because we went to be professional we had like surf doubles regardless and I definitely wasn't uh very good when you look back like my paddling in the scenes like (laughs) you look a little bit if you're a surfer you'd be like that's not what you do but anyway it worked for what it was (laughs) so we did all the paddling and they would um have us like going for the wave the paddling like you know on our face and then stand like going to stand up and then it would cut to the double so I actually had a boy double for a little bit so you had to wear like a wig and um you know like that's why I wore like the long boardies and the long rash shirt would cut as soon as we like went for the wave and then it would cut to the the actual surfer everyone was so nice like it was such a good group that um yeah like it was it was yeah such a positive experience and nothing to say negatively or anything like that and yeah it was very exciting knowing like I'm gonna spend the next six months with these people every single day <laughs> I haven't really seen anyone in so long which is bizarre when you think about it but um yeah we talk on social media here and there all of us were like every day um, and I had to do school in between as well. So it was definitely very exhausting because I was doing like homeschool with a tutor and stuff in between like scenes that I wasn't in. So like everyone else could go rest or like go for a swim or something like that. But I had to like do school. Like It was just very tiring and then just long days. So yeah, it, it was it was awesome, but it was just, yeah, very tiring. It took a little bit to get into. In a way, it was weird. I kind of missed that. Like I missed all like the school camps and I kind of was excited to get I guess, a bit more of that normal life doing what my friends were doing. Um, so it was actually good to get back. And I'm glad that I did for that period of time because they, like those friends that I had then, like I'm still really close with now. There was one, there was one time I was in the water and um, we were filming a, a scene where I was in a rubber ducky and they had to get like a long shot. So I'm out in the water with the coach, um, Simo. And um, he's like, oh, there's a shark. And we're like, oh yeah, cool. Like, cause we're just sitting in the, in the dinghy, like the rubber ducky thing. And um, anyway, this big set of waves come along and um, then we're like, oh, they're getting bigger. And we're in a spot where like the engine conked out of the, of the dinghy. So we couldn't move more forward, which means the waves were going to crash on us. So we literally had to jump out and like 30 seconds before we'd seen a shark and we're out past where the surfers are. So I'm freaking out. We're in close. So it's like heavy when you're in the water. Anyway, these surfers came, they like got us on their boards and like swam us to shore. But I was like freaking out because like we had to jump getting crushed by these waves. And 30 seconds before we saw this shark. So that was um, definitely something. I think after that, we were like, I was like kind of a bit more scared of the water. I didn't as such because I was still so young. And I guess like uh, my puberty wasn't like, I was pretty lucky in that respect that um, I was always like, I guess I just didn't even think about that or worry about that. It was probably as I got a little bit older, maybe more towards like 18 or like everyone knows you in a bikini and then you kind of put more pressure on yourself like as you get older, if that makes sense. But no one was like pressuring like us at all, which was really good. And I mean, obviously if I like, because I have catering and the food's like amazing and I would eat what I wanted, I'm sure if I got a bit on the tubby side, maybe someone would have said something. But because I was still quite 
young maybe or I don't know like I didn't I don't remember worrying about it then maybe later on in the years like 17 18 um and then you know you look that way at 15 and you're like oh my god I don't really look like that now but everyone thinks that I look like that that's probably what was hard I don't think we really had a show like that like a kid's show like with the whole surfing and I think the living together doing the school I think it was quite relatable with what was going on in like in teens lives now Um, the relationships and I just think that like how everyone meshed all the characters and the actors all together just worked and it just was like very like natural and I think that with a combination of like I mean who doesn't like the beach and surfing and like cute boys and things like that so I think it was just very relatable oh it was so hard I just remember bawling my eyes out it was like yeah I think I was pretty down for a good couple of weeks because I just didn't know what was next I'm like okay so I'm going back to school and then you know and then you're like wait for that next you know acting job and you're like is that even going to happen uh yeah it was I was devastated so after the show went off to LA lived there for about six years um you know did the audition thing there didn't really you know had some great opportunities got close to a few things It's very different. And then I sort of, sort of gave acting a little bit of a break. Um, I kind of, I guess, lost a passion for it when I was living in LA. So I went and got my personal training license because I kind of always liked that sort of stuff. Um, And then I came back. I'm doing personal training now, still auditioning here and there. Um, And then we just had a baby. So um, yeah, which is exciting, my partner and I. So yeah, there was actually talks when I was in LA with um, Lockie Buchanan, who was in the second, no, third season, sorry, and Kane O'Keefe. We actually got together a few times and they had like gotten to some final stages of like a new script, like where are they now kind of older and all that. Nothing eventuated from that, but there is still talks um, that, you know, again, between some of the cast, not like um, big companies or anything like that, but um, to reboot it and then like kind of, I guess, like send it off and have that opportunity. So there's, there's interest out there, but nothing's been like set in stone and so that could be an opportunity which would be awesome I think they need to do it 